We're here at the Rooms by Design at Grand Designs Live Sydney. Now I've got Victoria with me. How are you going? I'm good, thank you. That's good. Now you've designed this lovely room behind us. I have. And tell us what's going on here. They've got, there's two other rooms here. Okay, so we're all in competition with each other. We're all from the White House Institute. Um, so Grand Designs approached us with a brief about future trends and we were supposed to incorporate uh, future trends within the Australian residential living. Brilliant. Um, and so we came up with three different rooms and we were chosen out of our class to build what you see in front of me. Now it's a fantastic room here and can you just explain like the inspiration and how it came to be basically? Okay, so I chose to do a bathroom space so it's all about um, cleansing oneself after a big day of work. Uh, so I was inspired by Turkish bathhouses, it's where people go and they spend a long time within these spaces and it's not about the physical act of bathing but rather um, socialising with other people and just okay. relaxing. So I wanted to bring that within an Australian environment. Um, it's, uh, bathrooms are places where people tend to just get in and get out really quickly yeah. so I thought why not spend more time within a bathroom and that's how this came about. And how? Yeah. what have people been, because there's lots of people coming up and talking yeah. to you guys and what have people... Do they like it? Do they want one of these in their house? I have had a lot of positive comments, yeah. Um, obviously, it's a bit bigger than a normal bathroom, so people are, were trying to condense it into a smaller space. Absolutely. Now, yeah. you, there's a prize for one of you, is that right? Yes. Uh, Demi how, actually won. How did you go? Did, is it just a winner or is there a first, um, second, third? I didn't find out who came second or third. Oh, okay. But, yeah. We're still podium finished regardless, aren't you? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's a fantastic room, so Thank thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Here at the first room of the Rooms by Design at Grand Designs Live Sydney, I've got Brendan with me. Now, you've made this incredible room. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind okay. it? I was inspired by a gallery space in Antwerp in Belgium. What I really liked about the space was the personalisation that the objects brought to the space and the idea of temporary design elements. So this triggered my concept, um, artistry living, because today I feel like modern spaces are becoming a bit stark and a bit impersonal. So my concept's all about creating rhythm and balance and harmony between objects that tell little anecdotes and add that sentimental value to our homes today. Well, it certainly does that. There's a few items behind here that are really eye-catching, like the radio, the, the mirror there that looks like the sun and just yeah. the, the colours in general. Yeah. Now, how long did it take you from uh, finding out you know, that you were going to do this to what we see here today? Uh, Months. <laughs> Months? How it's many been, are we talking? Um, we found out in July which room we were building, so a few. Um, but it's been really hard to kind of um, negotiate with suppliers and like lock in borrowing objects for a couple of months and hoping that they still have it off in their stock for us to borrow as well. So yeah. well, This room's absolutely fantastic. It's getting a lot of people coming by. Now, what have people been saying to you if they want, want you to install one um, of these a lot of somewhere in the house? I've taken my business card and said, where's my website? So I, that's a good thing. So you've got thing. to build a website or do you have one? I don't have one at the moment, but um, I've got my business card, so mm. I've been giving that out a fair bit. Well, the price of fame, you're going to have to build a website. Yeah, you now I'm going You've got to about to. a week, otherwise. Or a blog. I think I'm going to start a blog, so... Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for talking to us. And thank you very much. Uh, the room looks fantastic, so well done. All right, thank you. Thank you. Made our way along to room two in the rooms by design. We've got Demi here, and you've ma designed this fantastic room, uh, the bedroom area. I have. <laughs> now, tell us about uh, how you came up with it, basically. So, my concept for this room is actually nest, and I wanted to create a really relaxing environment for people to come home to. I think there's a real trend nowadays for people to have workstations in the bedroom. So I wanted to remove the elements, all technology from the bedroom and have like a luxurious lounging area instead. So a bit of a getaway. Yeah, definitely. An escape from the work life. Yeah, because people come home and they don't switch off. Mm, They've got, yeah, definitely. you know, work it's comes home with them. It's all about switching off. And so I've chosen a lot of like low level furniture to really calm people down and bring them back down to earth. Well, you've definitely done that. It looks <laughs> Thank amazing. You. Now, how long ago did you start planning this and how did it all come together? Um, we've been planning it for over three months, but for the actual install we only had two days to put it all together, which was very hectic. I mean, we had to do all the painting ourselves and obviously I got the wallpaper installed and the flooring laid. So there was a lot to do in those two days. It sounds like it. Now I'm guessing you probably got some help from family and friends. I did and the students at White House as well all came along to help and put it together. So it was a team effort then? It was, definitely. Fantastic. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Beautiful, thank you.